Hi foodies, how many of you like your jalebi with yogurt? Or you like to eat your jalebi plain? Or you like your jalebi in little balls, also known as bundi? Come on in, let's get started. Jalebi and bundi here from Jenny's Walk. So in my bowl, I have some flour, regular flour, plain flour. You could also add cornstarch and baking soda. You could use some chana flour if you wish. Warm water to combine, mix everything nicely. A little hint of cardamom powder there just for flavor this is the texture i'm looking for let it rest for 30 minutes while that is resting let's put that water sugar lemon juice cardamom pot and saffron threads making a lovely syrup to enjoy now after half an hour let's fry our jalebi and bundi so little apparatus i have there that bottle with that little peak i just want to give it a nice little circle you could make any shape that you want on medium high heat you're just going to put it in as soon as it's formed then you're going to give it a little flip now remember to lock it in when you do those little styles patterns or whatever you want to call it take them out look like really crispy nice brown into that syrup 30 seconds on both sides it's just going to suck up all that lovely syrup like a honeycomb and it's going to fill into all these layers and round and round and round and round <laughs> i absolutely love this for the bundi nub you're going to add a little bit of food coloring i'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice there you go just a couple of drops and give that a good mix and if you have pakistani or bengali friend you should know about bundi it's absolutely delicious in this slotted spoon we're just going to go around and round and round at medium high heat let all those little balls come out of there and now we're going to stir and move it around until it gets a lovely golden brown color now we're going to take them all out there you go and put them into a bowl and we're going to use that same syrup just sprinkle it all around you don't want to overpower it with the syrup because it's going to absorb it so give it a little mix set it for five, five minutes and then check again and see if it needs some more of that syrup lovely recipe here from jenny's work bundi and jalebi okay foodies here is that lovely jalebi and that bundi i know a lot of you in the islands may not know this but if you have friends from uh, bangladesh and from pakistan you must have tried bundi it's a nice little bowl and the make it is the same recipe that you'll be making with your jalebi so this looks marvelous and i did some here the bundi recipe i made these jalebi with it so this is a little different color and this is our regular jalebi oh let me get that this is a nice big one here our regular one and very crunchy so i love to enjoy mine with the yogurt so you give it a nice little dip let's check out the crispiness oh wow it's just like a honeycomb look at that look at the honeycomb inside of that with all that lovely syrup in there with that lemon juice and that lovely saffron thread so just give it a nice little dip into your yogurt you could use plain yogurt or any flavored yogurt and this is how i enjoy my jalebi mm. Mm -hmm. crispy crunchy and let's leave that piece right there i didn't bite that i broke that one really food for the gods trust me all that lovely sweetness and that lovely buttery nice sweet and sour taste here from the yogurt to enjoy your bundi and enjoy your jalebi jenny's walk always bringing great ideas to the table simple and easy do it follow my channel youtube instagram and facebook jenny's walk enjoy